I don't listen to Ghanaian radio much. I, I will listen maybe for 15 minutes and shut off. Because it's very depressing. It will contaminate your soul. I don't watch Ghanaian TV much. I watch a little one, two, three. I say, oh, nothing has changed. Go back. I'll watch animals. I'll watch cheetah. I'll watch lion. I'll watch antelope. Oh, yeah. I'll watch antelope anytime. I'll watch cheetahs anytime. I'll watch giraffes anytime. Because at least they will tell me how to hunt. How to get your goal. How to avoid being eaten. I will learn that from the antelope. At least I'll come back inspired to say nobody will eat me. <laughs> but you watch Ghanaian radio, uh, TV, and you wonder are we still here? The mediocrity, the excellence that we used to have is all gone down. Instead of raising this bar higher, we've lowered it and lowered it, and every time we lower it lower and lower and lower and lower. And we have huge problems. I don't mind if Americans don't talk about serious things. They have solved part of their problems. I don't mind if Germans decide to joke with their destiny, and the British decide to joke. But we, we have no choice. What kind of joke? Because we are in a mess. In a huge mess. Recently, some governmental leader of another nation described us in very, very unpalatable terms. Very annoying term. But that term is not prescriptive, but it's descriptive. 